Hey yo, Antonio. Alright guys, we are back with another one. Today, we'll be walking around the city of Adelaide and learning about astigmatism. It's a topic that I'm deeply passionate about because it helps us understand those around us with vision problems and it also gives us an opportunity to experience a new perspective. For those that are unaware, astigmatism in its most simplistic form can be described as an oddly shaped cornea, the very front part of our eye. This can happen because of genetics, but can also arise from such things such as dry eyes, a misdirected eyelash, or the excessive rubbing of our eyes. And it's estimated that about 40% of the global population suffer from this condition. But without further ado, let's take a look at some examples as I guide you through these comparisons. Our first example is of a grill in the middle of the park. You'll come across these quite regularly in Australia. It appears that there are some instructions on how to use this grill. Hold for 6 seconds, wait for the button to turn green, and it'll turn itself off in 20 minutes. Pretty self-explanatory. What would happen if we introduce astigmatism into the picture? I've introduced one diopter of astigmatism, and you can consider this a mild amount. You'll immediately notice that the words are not as clear as what we had just before. It almost appears as they've been smeared. The smearing becomes really obvious when we get to two diopters. In this footage, you'll notice that the power button here on the right appears elongated, to the point where it seems doubled. Let's take a look at that with minus three diopters and minus four. Time to see if we can find other interesting things around this park. I stumbled across this skate park slash basketball court around the corner. I think this will make a great example of how astigmatism can affect those that play sports. I want you to focus on the shooter's square in the middle of the backboard. In this example, we can see that the black lines are easily visible, vertically and horizontally. But watch what happens when I introduce astigmatism into the mix. Now, with one diopter of astigmatism, it appears that the black lines are not as bold as what we had just before. The horizontal lines are thinner, and even the hoop is less visible. Notice how the vertical lines appear bolder than the horizontal lines. This is because an eye with astigmatism essentially has two focal points, one for the horizontal and one for the vertical. In this example, the vertical lines are still in focus, whereas the horizontal lines are not. This becomes super obvious when we get to minus 3. At this point, the horizontal lines are almost becoming invisible. Next, we're standing next to a road, and there appears to be a road sign that tells us that this is a bus lane. There we go, there goes that bus. Now, it says that the rule only applies between 4 to 7 pm during the weekdays, and something tells me that this will make a great example of how astigmatism can affect drivers on the road. One thing that I want to emphasize is that large text, like the word lane and the numbers 4 to 7 in this example, will not be greatly affected by a mild case of astigmatism, but it sure does affect smaller text like the words Monday to Friday. Another thing to note is that I did not digitally alter any of the images that we're seeing today. What you see is the result of inducing astigmatism onto my camera, even before I imported this onto my computer, meaning that this is the real deal. And although higher levels of astigmatism, such as minus 3 and minus 4, are relatively uncommon, you can see that for the select few that do have them, life is not going to be that easy. Especially when you consider that young children go through school like this without realizing that there is a problem. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm going to make a stop at the local barmi shop to grab some lunch. 
I ordered two banh mi's and three spring rolls and it comes to a total of $29.50. I'm going to lower the audio in the background because I don't want copyrighted Vietnamese music demonetizing my video. I want you to pay close attention to the numbers 5, 6, 8 and 9 shown on the receipt. As we go through the following examples, you'll see that these numbers become particularly challenging to differentiate. If you're enjoying the content so far, first of all, thank you. As long as you're finding value in these comparisons, I am ever so grateful. If you haven't done so already, consider liking this video, and if you're feeling extra generous, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. Your support is what keeps the channel going. In a world where we're bombarded with small numbers and letters, you can see how astigmatism can significantly impact those that are unaware. The scary thing is, the worsening of this condition is not age dependent, meaning that if we demonstrate unhealthy habits such as rubbing our eyes or spending too much time in front of screens, this could ultimately happen to us. But that just about wraps up today's video. Scenes around Adelaide with and without astigmatism. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!